Still I'm glad for what we had and how I once loved you. Dun 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 dun. But it's too late, baby. It's too late. Though we really did try to make it, make it. Something inside has died. I can't hide and I just can't make it. Oh, no. Again. Again. The next question is from Janelle. I quit my job, sold my house, and now a few years later have depleted my savings and find myself in a struggle to pay my living expenses and have little sense of direction or purpose. Now what? What is the key to connecting with all this and living in acceptance? Well, the first thing is you have a distracting thing that says you have to have a sense of direction or purpose. That's not the now, but your body's blown open to the now. You've made decisions that are trying to put you in the now, but you need to have your mind's idea because you already... Listen, everyone, you already have a direction. You already have a purpose. Your problem is you need to see it. Your problem is you're not letting God let you be in your purpose. Your problem is you need to make sense out of it. You're keeping a small self alive by needing to be in charge of what's my sense of direction, what's my purpose, right? There is a you that's just here that weirdly will be doing things from a higher place and a free magical place when you let God do things through you. But our old patterns have taught us we are what we do, not what we are. So you have a pattern that goes, I'm trying to find my sense of direction. And this pattern, if, if it doesn't have a sense of direction, has a problem. If I don't have a sense of direction, I'll be shamed by my mom. If I don't have a sense of direction, my dad will abandon me or be hit, hit me, whatever it is. And the pattern of needing a sense of direction is here. Weirdly, I was talking to someone about this today because they also wanted a sense of direction too. Check this out. And they said, in my past, if I didn't have a sense of direction, I was just kind of wandering aimlessly. And I said, there's three levels. The first level is I'm wandering aimlessly, which means I don't know what I'm doing. So I'm in the dark. So imagine you're in a garage in the dark, right? And he was saying he was feeling that the solution might be if he could just tighten his focus more. I want you to picture that's the second level. So you learn how to have direction. You learn all the old school self-help that have an outcome, right? So imagine now you're in a pitch black garage and you have a flashlight. That's the second level. Okay. So if you have a flashlight, now you're honing your focus and you're getting really good at that. But what happens if level three is God turns the light on in the garage? Now you don't need the flashlight because your belief is if I let go of my focus, I'm going to be back at level one. But the truth is you're now guided. So you're grabbing level two to fix your judgment of level one. And now instead it's asking you to surrender what you needed to fix level one so that level three can happen, which is there is a level past your control that's trying to guide you, Janelle, but it can't because it says I have little sense of direction or purpose. And your idea of purpose is just the little thing that your ego can see. So the ego is trying so hard to make sense out of it. And then what your title of your purpose is, is more your God than the now. The title of, oh, I got it. This is my purpose. And that's a, an F you to the now and the true essence of what you are that's trying to do things through you. Now, you have no memory of this thing ever being the truth, so you have a hard time surrendering it because in the past, you always had to have a sense of direction to protect you from some level one thing, being judged, floating in the wind, not having direction, which also meant something with your family. If I don't have a direction, I'll be like blah, 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 or if I don't have a direction, I, I won't be appreciated, right? So Janelle, your job is to look. You quit your job, sold your house, and now a few years later have depleted your savings. But when you let go of those things, if you remember my codependent video, you didn't let go of the magnets to that because the sense of direction was what got the job. 
And now you let go of the job, but that same magnet is trying to find a new job to fix it versus letting that be surrendered to. So you made these decisions, but you didn't purge the you that made the decisions, right? You didn't purge the you that got the job. You didn't purge the you that bought the house. You didn't purge the you that got a sense of direction then. You're moving to a new world where your sense of direction can go because you're all that is. Imagine dreaming and being like, I can't function unless I have a sense of direction. Your dream takes you, right? You go on a ride in your dream. Well, we're moving to a consciousness where that's happening now too. We're moving to a consciousness where life is trying to take you and guide you. And it's asking you probably at this level, instead of having a sense of direction or purpose, can you just follow in the now what you need to do, what you need to feel, what you need to be? and not be so far ahead. Like any sense of direction is, is even if it's just the next day, it's away from now. It's an, it's an avoidance of now. Direction is an avoidance of now, right? And, and you can have direction, you know, it's not a bad guy. In fact, it needs to be loved, but life is trying to get you into the now and weirdly still things will happen you very present would probably get a much better job or create your own business or be worth way more or just be a space of abundance that so much more things could come to you than you cutting that off with a sense of direction, right? So things are trying to come your way, but they can't because you're more glued to your direction than the receiving. So switch direction out to receive. I'm here to receive. And you start by receiving the now fully, right? So we start by receiving the now receiving the now, receiving the now, receiving the now. You can have intentions. Like I'm, I, my intention is to do the call tonight. My intention is to answer as many questions as possible, but you don't make that more your God. It's just like, here, this is an idea. This is what I'm doing. And I have no idea what's going to come through the entire night. And that's space, right? Like this is what I'm saying, right? So that you are the now Janelle, the one that needs to have a sense of direction is doing that out of protection, right? And may, what would you be if you didn't need a sense of direction? What You'd probably be free. And what could a free you do? Do you get that? If you didn't have a sense of direction, you'd be free because everything's okay. And if you need help, I'll ask this question again that I've asked in past things. If everything were okay, what would you do? Ask, get used to the idea that everything's okay, always. What would I do? Don't go, I do this, but here's what's, no. Now you're finding, most of us live in a world that everything's not okay, and what's the least not okay way? I want you to hear this, Janelle. Moment to moment, if everything were okay, what would I do? Because it's asking you to purge and says, I would just be and not feel guilty. I don't know if that was Janelle because it's a Jan. So I don't know if that was, but like, I want you to really re-ask yourself that. Ask yourself that in your relationships. Ask yourself that with your job. If everything, okay, here's Janelle responding. You wrote to hosts and panelists, but let's see. If everything were okay, how do I decide what to do each day when I wake up? What? Okay, the question Janelle asks, how do I decide to do each day when I wake up? I don't know what I would do if everything was okay. So that's your problem. That's your problem. You're starting your life out every day with a lie that everything's not okay. Janelle, do you hear that? You're starting your day out immediately with a lie because everything is okay. So Janelle's answer was, I don't know what I would do if everything was okay. So the universe is mirroring that to you. You think everything's not okay. So here, we'll take stuff away because that's what we're asking, right? If everything was, so you'd also, by the way, if you believe everything's not okay, you also move as if everything's not okay. Every decision you make is not okay. You're just scared of whatever the things are. that the, So your egoic pattern of things that you've hurt and hurt in your body, right? The, the egoic things that are hurting to not, you're literally making decisions to not feel hurt from things you haven't forgiven yet. Do you understand that, Janelle? You're literally creating, you're creating decisions 
from I don't want to get hurt again. So if you go to a higher frequency, you purge the you that was hurt, right? It's asking to be forgiven. So Janelle, start that mantra. If everything's okay right now, what would I do in this second? Just if everything's okay, would I drink water? Would I, you know, what would I do? If everything's okay, everyone asks that with everything. How, what would you, if all ways were okay, what would you do with your job? If all ways were okay, what would you do with your relationship? If all ways were okay, what would you do as a parent? If all ways were okay, right? And you never have the answer that I would hurt someone, but you might go, I'm going to be my freer thing and, and disenable other people that you felt were controlling you or undo your fear of abandonment, right? You'd, you'd, but you'd never actively hurt people. You'd never actively, whatever, you just free them from their patterns too. So the world's trying to free other people's patterns through your moves, right? And so if you act like everything's not okay, then you're literally making decisions out of your ego. So the universe has to completely show you that that's out of your ego and give you the match to that, right? Oh, you are scared of being abandoned? Okay, here's the person that would abandon you. If everything was okay, you'd pick the right person, right? That's trying to happen for you, right? So we don't want the ego to run it. If everything's not okay, your ego's running the show.